Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, we are going to check out the Dremel chuck. And this is a cool accessory for your Dremel tool. And uh, there are the three jaws in there. And this is meant uh, to replace the Dremel collet and the Dremel collet nut. And, um, you know, Dremel says that the Dremel chuck allows you to quickly and easily change accessories on Dremel rotary tools without changing collets. So the collet that we're looking at here is a 1 8 inch collet. Um, the Dremel collets, uh, you can tell them apart because if there's no rings on the bottom, like on this one, it's a 1 8 inch collet. If it has one ring on the bottom, it's a 1 32nd inch collet. If it has two rings on the bottom, it's a 1 16th inch collet. And if it has three rings on the bottom, it's a 3 32nd inch uh, collet. And uh, the Dremel chuck here allows um, accessories, accepts accessories with 1 32nd inch to 1 8th inch shanks. So um, we're going to go ahead and install this in the Dremel tool. But before we do, make sure that your Dremel tool is compatible with the Dremel keyless chuck and make sure that you've read through the operating and safety instructions and understand them completely. It'll tell you everything you need to know on how to use your Dremel tool both safely and properly. And also make sure that you're always wearing proper safety equipment while using the Dremel tool. Okay, let's go ahead and see how the Dremel keyless chuck works. All right guys, so this is my Dremel 4300 and the first thing we wanna do is make sure the Dremel tool is both off and unplugged. Um, and then, I, right now I have the collet and collet nut on there. And so we're going to take these off, we're gonna hold down the lock button, use the wrench tool to loosen up the collet nut and then we can take this off. And then we'll take the collet out and then the keyless chuck um, just goes, just twists right on here and you just hold down the lock button and you can see that the teeth start to close, the jaws there start to close up. Um, and what we wanna do, let's go ahead and install the sanding drum here and sanding mandrel. So um, uh, Dremel says that you want uh, a quarter inch between the top of the Dremel chuck and the bottom of the working part of the accessory, uh, like so. Um, and then we're going to hold down the lock button and then twist the Dremel chuck until we get it tight. And then you can also use the wrench tool here on the bottom part of the Dremel chuck. Oops, twist that so there is a spot for you to get the wrench tool in there. And if you hold down the lock button, you can get it all the way tight there like so. All right guys, here's an up close look at the approximately one quarter inch between the end of the Dremel chuck and the beginning of the sanding band. All right guys, so to take an accessory out, we just need to make sure the Dremel tool is both off and unplugged. And then we'll hold down the lock button and we'll use the wrench tool here to loosen up the Dremel chuck. And then we can uh, loosen it up by hand and then just take the accessory out like that. All right guys, well that was it, the Dremel keyless chuck. And this is an awesome accessory, a nice upgrade for the Dremel tool. and. Um, keep in mind that there still are some instances where you're going to need the uh, collet and collet nuts, so don't lose those or dispose of them. Just keep them handy for when you might need them. And thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And if you have the time, check out these other great videos.